Welcome to iTech 250. My name is Marcus, and today we're going to teach you to do a straight through cable A. To do that cable, you'll need a cable crimper. a cable cutter, RJ45 jacks, and a cable stripper. Cable and a cable tester. First thing you need to do is get the desired length of cable. Measure the cable and use your cable cutter to cut the required length. Now that I have my required length of cable, the next thing I'm going to do is use my cable stripper and strip the end of the cable, placing the end through the wire stripper Here I have stripped my cable. I'm now going to separate the cable into the, because remember we are doing the class A. So first you'll need a white green, green, white orange, blue, white blue, orange, white brown, and brown. I have now organized my cable in the correct color code for class A. I am now going to put it together and straighten out the ends of the cable, taking my cable cutter and clip the ends of the cable. I've clipped the ends of the cable. Now I'm going to take the RJ45 jack with the gold pins facing towards me and place it over the cable. Once this is done, you ensure that none of the cable has came out of their order. So you take a look at it and ensure that we have the color code, white, green, green, orange, white, blue, white, blue, orange, white, brown, brown. Now that I've done that, I'll do it again. You must ensure that the pins face you. Place it over the head of the wires, ensuring that the wires go to the topmost part of the pins. I'm going to take my cable crimper. Place the head of the RJ45 jack inside the cr cable crimper and apply force. I'll do it again to ensure that this process was done properly. Upon removing the RJ45, inspect the jack, ensuring that the, the, the wires are to the topmost of the jack. I'll repeat this process. So I've completed both ends of my cast A straight through cable. Good afternoon. The name is Eustace Benjamin, and I'd like to continue where my colleague Marcus left off. He first pointed out to you the correct um, color scheme for the A side of the straight through cabling. I would like now to point out to you the B side. 
just before I get on to that, I would just like to clear up with you that the process itself remains the same. We would need the same tools in that there is the crimper, the cutter, we have the tester, of course the cable, as well as the RJ45 jacks. All right? Now, the clear difference between the A side and the B side is the color scheme. With the B side, as we can see here, we now start with the orange white. Then we go with this orange, solid orange. We have the green white. Then we have the solid blue. We have the blue white. Then we have the solid green. Then we have the brown white on the solid brown. For those of you who, have, who may have missed it earlier on, I'd next like to point out to you, if you would notice, the color scheme is more or less the same with the, with the difference being the orange white and the green. If I can pull back up here what the A side looks like, you can see that the difference now becomes that they have switched positions. The orange white and the green white have now switched positions as well as the solid green and the solid orange. All right? As we said earlier, the process would remain the same. You'd have to straighten out your cables maintaining your color code. Go ahead and cut them evenly like was so clearly defined by my colleague. This would allow you to make sure the RJ45 jack is properly placed so that all the connectors go right up inside. But I've taken the opportunity to prepare a cable in advance to show you what the completed jack would look like. I would now like to take you on to the testing stage, where after completion, we would use the tester where you have the ports at the bottom here. You simply place an end in each side. Switch on the tester. Now, testers may vary in size, color, and model. And simply test. And here we have a successful connection. Hi, I'm Vicky Daniel. I am Michelle Ford Smith. And we are here to demonstrate the RJ45 crossover cable. The crossover cable, as the name implies, is a cross between the T568A and the T568B. The difference being the color codes of green, white, green, orange, white, blue, blue, white, orange, and brown, white, brown. The B standard is orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, and brown, white, brown. Shalford, are we joining two cables? I'm so glad that you asked that, Vicky. No, we are not. It is one cable of a combination of the straight T568A color code and the T568B color code on the other end. One cable, two color codes on either side. Okay, so that is the difference between the straight through cable and the RJ45 crossover cable then? That is exactly so. So what is the purpose of a crossover cable? I'm glad that you asked that. The purpose of the crossover cable is for usage between two devices of similar types. And for example, for use in a home or in a small office. Okay, so you mean you could link routers and switches as well and peer-to-peer -peer networks? That is correct, Vicky. Okay, so as we just mentioned, the major difference between a straight-through cable and a crossover cable is that a straight-through cable has one standard on either sides of the cable. However, a crossover cable has a A standard side and a B standard side. And the reason for that is to ensure that the transmitter pins are connected to the receiver pins. 
So that's it for us on the RJ45 crossover cable. This is what it's supposed to look like, the end product. T56A straight through cable. Here we have the tester once the cable is complete, uh, completely performed. We get you to the crimper, cutter, cables, and the cable shred. RJ45 jack, and most important, your networking cable. ITEC 250. Thank you.